Yo, what's up everybody, my name is AJ and welcome back to another GTA 4 tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade GTA 4 in the simplest way possible from the newest complete edition to the older versions of the game and it's done with a single tool. Now why should you downgrade the game? The largest reason is for modding capability. Tons of mods only work on the older versions of GTA 4 such as LCPDFR and the other scripts. Other reasons for downgrading also include stability and performance as well as the opportunity to dive into GTA 4 multiplayer. To follow this method of downgrading GTA 4, you will need to make sure that you have WinRAR or some kind of zipped compressed folder type of software. You will also need a clean copy of GTA 4 with absolutely no mods in it. And you will also need to either have Windows 10, 8.1, 8 or 7. Windows 11 hasn't been tested, but it could work. You shouldn't necessarily need this if you have Windows 10, but make sure that you have this .NET Framework 4.7.2 program installed on your machine. I will have a link down below in the description for you for you to install. It is also required that you have an internet connection for this installation as well. Step number one, you want to go ahead and download the GTA 4 Downgrader tool from the link I provided below in the description. This tool was made by It's Clock Andre, and it was originally posted on GTA forums, so it will provide you a link to a Google Drive. Just simply go right up here and click download. What you then want to go ahead and do is right click on it and go to 7-zip and click extract files and go ahead and extract them. Now it is very important that you do not extract this into your GTA 4 folder. This should specifically go somewhere else and in this case I've put it on my desktop. So after extracting this as a folder to your desktop or wherever you did it, go ahead and open it and right click on this .exe file which is the tool itself. Right click on it and click run as administrator. And once you do that, what it will do is greet you with the welcome screen to the downgrader tool. Feel free to read some of this information, which I described a lot of it in the beginning of the video. But once you've kind of read that, go ahead and click next. It will then ask you to select your GTA 4 directory. Now, after doing that, it will ask you to select your GTA 4 directory. So what you want to do is click browse. Go ahead and find your GTA 4 directory, in which case mine's located in C, Program Files, Rockstar Games, GTA 4. But yours might be located in your Steam folder, just if you have the Steam version. For me, I have the non-Steam version. So what you want to do is click Select Folder, and it will now register inside this blank space here. Now what you should do next is go ahead and click the Next button, and what it will do is it will analyze for any errors. Now what happens if an error pops up such as this? Basically, it's suggesting that your directory may have been modded. If it is, then make sure that you follow the on-screen instructions by either A, downloading a new and clean copy of GTA 4 again, or B, removing the mods one by one if you're experienced and know where they may be located. Typically, a clean copy of GTA 4 from the face view should always look like this. So given that I have no mods in here, I'm going to go ahead and actually click Next. Move GTA 4 to another location. If this doesn't pop up for you, then do not worry. If it does, then read the on-screen instructions carefully. It's asking and suggesting that you move your GTA 4 to another location, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. In my case, I'm perfectly comfortable to where my GTA 4 is currently at, and if you are too, go ahead and click the skip button. Select a version that you'd like to downgrade to. Here's some information about what downgrading to different versions can offer. Downgrading to version 1080 is best for using ASI mods and great performance. Downgrading to version 1070 is best for using ASI and .NET mods such as LCPDFR. In other words, it's the best version for modding regardless. Downgrading to version 1040 is best for ENB and visual modifications, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use ENB and other visual modifications on version 1070 or 1080. It's just saying that it's better than the other two. So I'm particularly invested in modding, so I will go ahead and choose version 1070. Then click Next. Games for Windows Live Multiplayer Games for Windows Live is the original way to play multiplayer in GTA 4. If you aim to play GTA 4 multiplayer after the downgrade, you have to check the checkbox below, so this downgrade will be configured for Games for Windows Live, which basically means that you can play multiplayer should you click this checkbox. If you would like to play GTA 4 multiplayer, then click the checkbox. If you do not want to play multiplayer, then unclick it. To proceed, click the next button. Choose which radio downgrade you'd like. Now this isn't life or death for the installation, but some people prefer to have some of the older radio stations at their disposal before it was removed in GTA 4's recent updates. It's up to you on what you really want to do. Take the time to read this for more information. Now if you do select the radio downgrader by Sneed, then the selection between the old Vladivostok FM and the new Vladivostok FM in-game radio stations is posed. Choose whichever you'd like, and then click next to proceed forward. 
If you do select the Legacy Radio Downgrader, or if you don't really care about any of this and end up clicking the Skip button, then it will proceed forward. The checkbox on the bottom where it says Also Install No EFLC Music in IV Fix, this means that GTA 4 will not have the DLC music from The Battle of Gay Tony and The Lost and Damned, unless if you specifically play those two DLC content themselves. Again, it is specifically up to you. Next up is to select the mods that should be installed. Here you can choose what you want to install with the downgrade. Just click on an item and it will be downloaded and installed when the downgrading process has started. Feel free to install any of these, but read what they're about before you do end up installing them. Now, some information you should know. I provided a split screen here on the video on exactly what it would look like on the left hand side if you have GTA 4 multiplayer enabled, and what it would look on the right hand side if you have GTA 4 multiplayer disabled. Now the top 4 items on both screens happen to look the same, which is the Cole Excel, Fusion Fix, Script Hook for 1.0.7.0, and the Simple Traffic Loader. Now what happens to be different between the two is that if you end up enabling GTA 4 multiplayer, then you are only allowed to have the following 3 different items that are different than what you would have without multiplayer. On the left hand side, you would need to have an ASI loader called D Sound. This is different than something called X Live, which is on the right hand side. Now, what is X Live and D Sound? Well, these are two different types of ASI loaders. An ASI loader is for ASI based modded scripts, so this way, whenever you have ASI based modded scripts, this will be the dependency specifically for it. An ASI loader for GTA 4 multiplayer is called D Sound, and when you do downgrade your game fully with D Sound activated, there's a file in your game called dsound.dll. This is the ASI loader used for ASI based modded scripts. Now, if you decided to disable GTA 4 multiplayer, then the ASI loader that you would need is something called xlive, and in your files you would see a file called xlive.dll. This is the ASI loader that you would need to use for your scripts that are ASI based. Additionally, if you end up disabling GTA 4 multiplayer, then you can actually enable Steam achievements that you can get on your downgraded copy of GTA 4. And there's also different types of Z menus and Zalika patches between having GTA 4 multiplayer enabled and GTA 4 multiplayer disabled, and you can kind of see the differences between the two. Now, if you choose to mod your game, it is highly required that you tick two things. One is ticking the script hook for 1.0.7.0. And if you have GTA 4 with multiplayer, then tick D Sound. And if you have GTA 4 without multiplayer, then tick X Live. And if you'd also like to have some things that would fix and improve things in GTA 4, then also tick the Zalika patch version 6.9.6. .6. And if you want a nice little trainer with it, go ahead and click Z menu as well. Also, make sure that the download and install prerequisites recommended is checked at the bottom. After you feel satisfied with everything, go ahead and click Next. The last step is to finalize everything. As it says on the screen, make sure that your copy of GTA 4 is fresh with no mods. Make sure your copy of GTA 4 is in a good, secure, and non-disconnectable location. If you wish to create a backup of your game, which will cost you about 22GB since it will just create another copy of your current game onto your hard drive, then click the checkbox that's right here, make a backup for me, and choose your backup location. Having a backup is definitely recommended, but it could definitely take a long time but just make sure you choose a path that would be recommended for your backup. Now to downgrade, go ahead and click the downgrade button. And there we go, it's finished. So we'll click next to continue. Next up is save file downgrading. Now this is totally optional, but what is this about? Well, let's say if you played the GTA 4 story mode, basically each time you save, a save game file is located in your documents folder under Rockstar Games, under GTA 4, and save games. And this is an example of a save game file. Now, because you're downgrading the game, there are certain elements in the game that also have to be downgraded in the save file as well. So if you want to continue with the save game in your downgraded copy, then you should definitely click the next button to make sure that your save games do get downgraded. Now if you don't really care about the save games and you don't really play the story mode and you're only just playing it for the mods, then you could click skip. Next up you can also include a command line if you wish to have some stuff in there such as windowed and non-mem restrict and stuff like that. I would definitely recommend that you click this one, which is no mem restrict and no restrictions. And if you want to have it windowed, you can also click this as well, but I don't really want that. After that, go ahead and click next. And that's it. It's officially been done. But it's not done quite just yet, because I still have one bit of information to tell you. Now, 
after you downgrade your GTA 4, it will look like this. It looks completely different than what we saw originally. If you look on the left hand side of the screen, that is GTA 4 before it was downgraded. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, this is GTA 4 after it was downgraded. If you end up right clicking on this GTA4.exe and you go to properties, you go to details, and you can see that the file version of GTA4.exe has a file version of 1.0.7.0. This means that my game just downgraded to exactly the version that I wanted it to downgrade to. If you did version 1080, then this file version will be 1.0.8.0. Now it is important to understand that after downgrading, you can no longer launch GTA 4 from Steam and from the Rockstar Games launcher, otherwise it will completely destroy your downgraded copy. Like this. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. How do you counter that? Go to the GTA 4 files here after downgrading and launch by double clicking this file right here. This play GTA4.exe. This is from now onward how you're going to launch GTA 4 forever. With that being said, let's double click on this file to launch the game and see how it works. And there we have it. There it is. There is a launch screen. We'll try GTA 4. Let's go ahead and start it up. And let's get this bad boy launched. And there we have it. We are in GTA 4. We're playing. Everything's looking good. I got the Zalika mod trainer, which is by clicking F7, you can go ahead and open that up. There we go. Even the Ballad of Gay Tony works pretty good. Looking pretty nice. And here we have it. We also have GTA 4 The Lost and Damned as well. So this came with absolutely everything. And I'm telling you, this downgrade works like a charm. I also tried this when I tried enabling GTA 4 multiplayer, and I went into multiplayer, and it worked just fine actually, so it's pretty good. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, if this video did help you then hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet, and I do have some GTA 4 modding tutorial videos that are showing up on the screen right now that could possibly help you, so I do have a how to install LCBDFR, and I even have a how to install car mods. I even have a how to install snow mod, all that kind of good stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed GTA 4 downgraded. See you guys.